cheap games, Xbox Live, and PSN codes, please check out G2A in the description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back once again to this week's Minecraft Xbox and PlayStation Seed Saturday Showcase. Now this week, I do in fact have two seeds I'm going to be showcasing. I was in fact only going to do a Survival Island Seed, however, someone left a pretty awesome seed in the comment section. So if you guys have any awesome seeds, leave a comment down below on the seed, what it has in the world, and what console version you're playing on. However, the seeds I showcase in these videos work on all versions of Minecraft console because we use the classic world set. So the first world I'm going to be showcasing is from Jacob. He said, Echo, do the seed zero and then comma and then zero. It's the best seed I've seen. Now it's not the best seed I've seen, but it is pretty awesome. It features, I think it's five villages in total with three or four of them with blacksmiths. It features a double dungeon and it also features a temple and some other cool things as well. So yeah, let's check this out, well, this out first. And a, a big thank you to Jacob. So let's go into here. We're gonna do it in creative for the sake of this tutorial. Now I don't know the loot that's in my world, However, the loot can change for you guys. So the current spawn point is pretty much kind of in the middle of the map. Uh, I spawned on the edge of here. However, you can spawn slightly in the jungle as well. The only downside to this map is this jungle does not have a jungle temple. I searched as hard as I could and even though it's quite a big jungle, there's nothing inside there. And the world itself is pretty much dominated by sand biome. But yeah, it's still a pretty cool biome. So let's go over here because this is the first village that I did notice. Now all the villages in this map are pretty big. You'll notice the same over there as well. So that's a pretty cool thing because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different sections of water that you uh, water of um, food that you can collect, and also a whole different range of villages, such as here we have a librarian. Here we have a butcher. I think this is a farmer, that's the blacksmith, and we have a farmer, so we have all types of villages. Uh, and we're all curious to see what this actual blacksmith does have, so let's just see what he has inside here. We have iron pants, we have four apples, some bread, and two iron pickaxes, so that's not too bad, that's my loot, it may change for you, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and the bonus is we have these. Remember to always take these from villages, because they will equal you making your enchantment room a lot easier instead of having to use uh, sugarcane over there and of course killing a bunch of cows. So that's the first location. The coordinates for this one are X31, Y74 and Z43, but you can pretty much see it from spawn anyway. So the next one I'm gonna go to is pretty much slap bang in the middle of the map. So we'll, yeah, kind of, I uh, know it's a little bit towards the bottom. And this is a, another pretty cool one because it's a combination of all the way down here, but it also has the village up top as well. So you could probably turn this into a pretty good town slash village if you wanted to for yourself. And again, it also features, I think it features um, a librarian somewhere. Let's have a little bit of a quick look before we loot the blacksmith. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of really obsessed with finding librarians and stealing all the bookcases. I can't see any, which is a downside, but oh well, we've still got a blacksmith. So let's see what we have inside this blacksmith. Hopefully we get some diamonds. I would like, oh, it's pretty dark in here. Uh, we've got an iron sword, <laughs> bread, and more apples. So pretty much the loot for me has been the same, and the coordinates for this are X23, Y67, and Z230. Now, before I showcase the best thing in this map, which is the double dungeon spawner, we're gonna go this way a little bit more. Now there is, Two more villages I can remember, uh, and I think one is in the corner of the map, like literally the far corner of the map. Uh, and we've got kind of like a small plains biome, so it's alright because mobs are going to spawn here. However, unfortunately, it does not have a blacksmith. Um, as for a librarian, shall we check? I mean, it's worth checking, right? Uh, we do have a librarian, so it's kind of still useful for us. Uh, and the coordinates for this, X minus 4 or 6, Y68 and Z. 364 so it is pretty far away so let's pretty much head down here because I did notice I think there's one more village down this way before I showcase another big village 
Um, and also we've got the extreme hill biomes, which are very useful in seeds like this because you're going to find your emeralds, you're going to find diamonds as well, which again is useful for trading. Um, if I miss anything in these seeds, guys, I do apologize. If you guys find out where the stronghold is, leave a comment down below. If you find any other surface spawners, leave a comment down below. Um, but I haven't seen anything else in the corners of this map. We found a lot of caves like this and we've also got more planes. Uh, and we do have the other village over here. Again, unfortunately, it does not have a blacksmith. And it's like, it's literally on the water. So this is very beneficial for you because zombies won't spawn in the water. Uh, and if you've got villages inside these huts, they're kind of a little bit more protected than any of the other village. So I thought that was a pretty cool addition. Uh, heading to the best part of this map. Now, the best part of this map is literally on the uh, bottom right of the map. The reason why is because that features a double dungeon, it features, I think it's a village, and of course, two, uh, sorry, a temple as well. So that's why I like this map, that's why I decided to showcase it as well. So we've got another blacksmith here, um, where's the temple? There it is, there's a temple. Look what, we, look what we have it all in one location. We've got a village with a blacksmith, we've got one dungeon, two dungeons, so the double dungeon, and we have the temple itself. So you're going to get a lot of loot in this map and there may even be some more spawners. That looks like it could possibly be one um, because it looks like it's the right size. What about this? Let's check this. Let's see if we're going to be lucky enough. No, I don't think we are. What about this one? I just like to dig up a bit, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any more spawners. Well, I'm not too disappointed because we have two double, uh, well, we have two, two spawners right next to each other. So yeah, last blacksmith that we have here, we have more apples. Damn, that kind of sucks. And more bread pretty much had the same loot, but that's my loot. Hopefully your luck is a little bit better than mine. Uh, going to the temple first, let's see what we have inside here. Now the past couple of temples in the seed showcases that I've done, we found a lot of emeralds and we've also found a bunch of diamonds. So let's see if we have any more in here. Uh, it's not the greatest, we're finding a lot of bones though. Oh, there we go, we've got one diamond. We can make ourselves a diamond shovel. Just what we want to make, right? And we've got a lot of rotten flesh as well. That's, that's not the greatest. Again, my luck is kind of sucking. Uh, and we do have two spawners here, which if you're smart enough, you can combine them together. Now this one right here is a zombie spawner. And the coordinates for the zombie spawner are X358 and Y60 and Z298. So you should find it pretty easy because it's only covered by a couple of sand anyway. And inside here we've got one, two music discs, we've got gunpowder, horse armor, a saddle, and of course bread. So you can make this into a spawner. However, again, if you're smart enough, you can combine these. These are literally within 50, not even 50 blocks. Let's count how many blocks they're in. So we're in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 27, 28 blocks within each other. So if you're smart enough to make a double spawner, uh, XP farm, then you're awesome. But this one is a spider. It would have been a little bit more useful if it was a skeleton. However, beggars can't be choosers and you've got to be grateful for what you get. And you may find, oh, we've got some oh, more iron there. You may find some more spawners around this uh, sand biome, but they don't normally spawn within this close to each other. So that's pretty useful. So inside here, we've got more iron. We've got gunpowder, bread. We've ended up with a lot of bread and not, not, very, not, much, not much useful stuff. However, we do have two name tags, which is a bonus. Uh, obviously for naming your animals, horses, etc. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, spawners, because XP farms with spiders are a little bit more difficult than zombies or skeletons. Uh, but that's pretty much what we have in this seed. And this was uh, the seed zero, comma, zero. It's on a classic world. I don't really need to extend it to an Xbox One or PlayStation 4 world because it looks like out there we're not going to find too much. I was pretty impressed with it. So let me know what you think about this one. And it's time to switch to the next one. Okay then, so the second seed in this week is Seed Saturday SI, which is Survival Island. And this seed was left by Glory King. He said, try the seed Thor, all in capitals, for Survival Island, it's cool. There are a couple of trees that you need to get saplings and replant. There is also a mushroom island with one mushroom that you need for uh, mushroom stew. So thank you so much, Glory King. I checked it out, it's pretty awesome. And it's pretty useful. We really don't have an updated Survival Island seed. Uh, and the fact that this has everything you need in the seed is perfect because, for example, let me give you guys a little bit of a tour. We have the seeds here. We've got the seeds that you need, to obviously, to make yourself some wheat. We have the tree itself, which kind of, is it a derpy tree? I'm not sure. We've got one, two, three, 
Let's just see how many we can get from this. I don't know if there's any more inside there. But let's just see that the decays. And then, what a lot of islands don't have is sugarcane. So the fact that this has all three of the main things to start a survival island is pretty perfect. Now as for the world itself, it's pretty empty. Uh, but it does feature over here a huge uh, mushroom island with two trees. So if you need some extra trees, there's a bonus. However, you, you kind of need to make yourself a challenge and do it this one. There is a bunch more survival islands as well. And I believe there's a, there's a few more. Um, I think there's another survival island somewhere. And I think it's extremely tiny. But it doesn't feature the sugarcane that you need for the world. And I think it's here. Yes, it is. Um, so it does have seeds. It does have a tree. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the sugarcane. But if you want to do it with your friends, like a, a 1v1 to see who can do the best, you can just meet in the middle. Give him one uh, sugarcane and only use one sugarcane. And then you guys can have a little bit of a competition. Because that would be pretty awesome. Um, and then the rest of the map, I think it's just literally mushroom islands. So, yeah, mushroom islands are okay. Obviously, if you need the mushrooms themselves, because you may need some cows. So, I guess traveling to the islands isn't something that I don't want you guys to do. I mean, I don't discourage it if you guys want to visit the other islands. Then, by all means, do it because I've done it in my survival island series as well. So, apart from that, guys... We have two seeds this week. I'm hoping you did enjoy it. Thank you for the people who left the seeds. If you guys have any seeds at all, all you need to do is leave a comment down below on the seed and what we can find in the world. So I've been Echo. Have a great weekend. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.